Uh, technically speaking, I should probably offload this position, but if you guys want to find out where these liquidation zones are, these do help. Where's the next major node of liquidity coming in at, um, 2337, which was a breakdown target I had earlier. So Welcome back to the Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, California. It's bright, it's early, and Ethereum is hitting one of my targets as we speak. And I'm just gonna talk about real quick uh, how I'm managing this position as um, I'm already in a, a little profit here, up 26% on this one, a nice inverse perpetual short contract. And um, technically speaking, after this 15 minute consolidation, right? If you go from the high to the low, the 1618 FIB using the Wix, technically speaking, I should probably offload this position, but we did close below the 1618. So that gives us a next target down, which is this red line right here at the 2618. So I'm hoping for one more push down. In the last 15 minutes on a hourly closure on a four hour closure. The last 10 minutes is where those market makers like to mess with the price. So uh, what can I do to get the most potential profit out of this position? Well, probably just take the dang profit right now. <laughs> but I like to use the five minute time frame, And by just ticking above this prior wick right there, likely going to get a run all the way up to that nine exponential. So if this five minute closure does not close red, I will move my stop loss right here. And uh, that is how I do it. Um, could I be wrong? Could I be right? I don't know. But it does look like she's going to get sit down a bit lower. So five minutes going to close in 48 seconds. And I'm going to show you another position we're shorting Mr. Doggy Coin. I don't know if that position, uh, oh, that one's in there too as well. So I'm kind of doing the same thing on that one right now. So I'll bring this in here. By the way, there's a link in the description below if you want to use Mexi, the trading site with the lowest fees. I highly recommend it if you have not began your journey on trading yet. What a way to get started with the best exchange. So. Why don't I raise this up just slightly here for Mr. Doggy. Being a doggy and Elon Musk had some news on Twitter where they talked about launching crypto payments. They applied for a special license and let's look at the more important position. The more important position is this one right here on the five minute and there we go. <clears throat> so I'm going to move this up <clears throat> right there. So are we amidst a bit of a bounce? Um, we'll see if it's a fake out or not right now. And I'm gonna move this in a little bit more as everybody stops, you're probably right there and see if we can flip this thing red because we do have five more minutes or 10 more minutes, five more minutes on this uh, nice red candle to the downside. And the nice part about inverse perpetual contracts, which we're probably going to get some follow through on the next four hour closure. I just don't want to lose any of those profits. So that's why I've adjusted things the way I have. And let's see, doggy is uh, about to get taken out, but uh, just a small trade here on this one. So nothing, nothing right home about, but this one a little bit more. Uh, yep. Took me out, took those profits out and Hey, you never get hurt taking a bit of a profit and let's see if our doggy coin Oh, doggy took me out too. doggy doggy for a doggy. And so is the five minute going to flip things around for Ethereum? Let's see. So volatility is maxed right now. And when volatility begins to decline, well, there's where your mean reversion bounce is going to be. And so what I could do on the other side here, if I was brave enough is I would take a long, and look for a nice little backfill on this candle on the four hour, which is probably going to happen. So why don't I do it? Why not? Does take a little long? Well, I'll tell you why it's because that that four hour candle was quite bearish. 
bearish with volume on the four hour. Let's see. And we did hit right smack dab in the middle of the target there. So for this vector candle, you typically want to target the middle of the candle, the top or the bottom side. We tagged right into it and it probably lines up with another fib. So I do think I want to long this baby. I want to long this for a retest up into this zone. Let's see. I've been eyeing this area for some time. It's finally, and right at the 618, that's where you expect that bounce. So that's where the bull traps and the bear traps come in. This could be the buying opportunity of the year right now. So what typically happens on these four hour candles with volume like this? You might get a backfill, one more test of that 618. That's kind of what you want to see on the 15 minute time frame is a double bottom. On the 15 minute time frame, if we get a double bottom, that'll look good for just a nice rip to the upside as people are getting short. Look at Mr. Doggy. See how it just ticked above that wick and we, did your TP hit Giselle? You should have wrote, like brought your stop loss down. Did you bring your stop loss down? Okay, on the 15 minute time frame. Okay, that's, yeah, that's fair enough. Um, so are we going to get a little more continuation off this or is it going to bounce? Are we going to get a V shape recovery here? What I would like to do, if I could pull up high block capital and do it quickly, let's see high block capital, too many screens open on this 15 minute time frame. Do I want to front run the reversal or do I want to add some in there? And I think I am going to add, but let's let's and you can just take whatever trade that i take right now so <laughs> oh you already entered <laughs> well, the sure. greed button is real the greed button is real so s s just beware um honestly the braver people right now are gonna go long and just long that sucker right off the 618 and use some lower leverage we're using a lot of leverage right now because well Got to make up for those spot positions that are coming down right now. Drew from Axelrod, okay. So, as I was saying, high block capital. This is an interesting tool. By the way, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. If you guys wanna find out where these liquidation zones are, these do help. I'm kinda confirm or deny your bias. Confirm or deny, oh, high block, come on. Limited time sale up to 60% off of new customers. I didn't get that 60% off. People are net short right now. So what is the market maker gonna do? They're gonna send it to the upside. If we don't come down and tag this zone one more time to the downside, all this liquidity, all these people that went short, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, this is Bitcoin, by the way. Uh, if they run it back up to the upside and Let's see on that five minute. On that five minute looks like a bounce so far, so good for a bounce. So the four hour did just close. Did it close? We got three minutes to handle. Three minutes. And so this is a bearish candle and I would expect one more continuation drive to the downside, uh, at least to meet this area and grab the stops one more time. So high block. Let's throw on Mr. Ethereum here and see what we got going here. Mr. Ethereum is, people are net short right now. So everybody's short. I wouldn't be surprised if they run it all the way back up for a short squeeze up to 2489, but at a minimum, I'm looking for something like that zone right there. There's a little bit more liquidity down here. So down at 2227, you know, does the market maker come and grab this last, that'll liquidate the longs to the downside. So where are we gonna see? See, more red push to the downside and you're trading doggy coin, right? How's our doggy doing? You put the short back on. Oh, you did. Oh, you might want to flash close that baby because this is retesting the support. I would just take that money and run. Good job. Um, Because what happens here, right? So we never tagged that 1618 fib right here. Do you see that? We never tagged that zone. So I think it'll push back down one more time. We'll get a backfill to the downside on this one. 
And this is a nice bearish close for doggy. I might add to that short one more time. Short? Yeah, on doggy. Um, really you did long, open long? Yeah. Did you close it yet? Okay. All right. Sure you will. Sure you will. But should we be concerned with a greater bounce? Um, what does the 15 minute say? See, the way I would do this one is, is I'm, you know, uh, you could wait to short right here off that 786 or the not 0.5. But either way, I think Doggy Coin is going to spill it back. He's going to spill the beans. So four hour is coming in hot on Ethereum. And as long as we are above this wick right here, you would expect a bounce. If we take that wick out, well, we're going to get a greater push to the downside. And hopefully I'm bringing a little value here today. If you enjoy this video and you want me to do more like this, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, but you can see volatility is continuing to be maxed out here and it's starting to decline. Okay, so bounce time. So now all I'm looking for on Ethereum is one more little push to the downside and like a, a, a little wick down. I'd love to buy a nice fat wick to the downside, but I don't think we're gonna get it. Honestly, I don't think we're gonna get it. And I think the call is long for a retest up to this zone at 2352. And I got a jewel buy signal. I'm gonna long it. It's time to go long, but yeah, let's do it. Adding 10% by long, boom. So you could long Ethereum right now. I'm adding 25%. This is just a scalp play here. Did it take my position? No, it didn't. See those little punks. See, I, I put a limit in right there and they did not give it to me. So I am now long 750, no, 300 ETH. 700,000 long here and let's see if we can get a little push to the upside for you guys on this stream and I will add in my TP stop loss here and see if she does come back down this would be the area I'd be looking along from you might get one more push down maybe test the bottom of the range one more time get the double bottom on the five minute that's fine but you know things are Shape enough to be more on the bearish side. How's our doggy coin doing? Doggy is pushing higher. So are you still long? It's like drugs, guys. Say no to drugs, please. Don't do the drugs. Um, okay, so baby still positive so adding see it didn't take my original position but that's okay so using high block capital we'll come in here and see where's the next major node of liquidity coming in at um, 2337 which was a breakdown target i had earlier so all these gray bars right there are 100x shorts that are going to get liquidated on this push and that would be a higher low. So how high does she go? If we cannot defeat the nine exponential on this short-term <laughs> trading time frame, it's gonna come back down and a pretty decent way to manage the good old risk. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. I'm gonna add 25%. Come on, give me a little love there. Give me a little love. Okay, I'm gonna add the TP stop loss, 20% confirmed. And I'm going to get rid of this limit, which is in here. And I'm just going to draw this down right here, right to this level. That's where she wants to go. So trading her live up to 2336. Let's see if we can get, oh, and it might just test that wick right there and be done for the short term. So giving it back, we're up 1200 bucks, not bad. Sometimes you just test the wick, but usually you get a test up, up to that nine exponential and uh, potentially just gives us a little more room to add. And where would I put my stop loss? I guess below the 618, right below the 618, five minute time frame. Can we defeat the nine? If we close above this nine exponential, that would give me the bias for the next 21. So it's gonna close here. We're not closing yet. 
and let's look at Mr. High Block Capital. So as we are coming into these little spots of liquidity here, they're giving us a chance to add to the position if we want. And there's still lots of liquidity to the upside. So, you know, uh, does it blast right through to the upside? Probably not, given that the market is pretty bearish right here. And we just had that four hour bearish closure. So I am starting to lose confidence on this one. I am starting to lose a bit of confidence here. And 2342 is the next area down. As long as we're above that pivot, we should have took the scalp. If we reject back below this level, it is see a sayonara. But what I do like is again, oh, I'm gonna give us another bias buster here. So even if it does come back down, I'm gonna bring my stop loss down a little bit more. And we're gonna add to this bad boy. Um, a little bit of a longer video today, but that's okay. So where is the question? Where's everybody stops? Traditionally speaking, if you're longing off the 618, your stop loss is below that 786 or right below that wick. So I can go and go either way. Um, pretty much uh, playing with a little bit of fire right now, but hey, it's Monday. You might as well get that fire in your belly and get some trades on, get a couple TPs in. And with that said, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Or should we go over Bitcoin? Should we set it and forget it and take a look at Bitcoin and some of the altcoins? And congratulations to Dana. Baby girl was born today. Olive was born. And um, what a beautiful, I'm so happy for them. So um, congrats, Dana. If uh, I'm sure you're not going to watch this, but um, what else? could give us a bit of a bias buster. We got seven minutes left on the 15 minute candle. And I will take a look here at our 15 minute candle and see if we got any hidden bullish divergence, hidden bullish divergence. And how would we confirm this as a low? I would wanna see a closure above this wick here, above this wick and uh, well, guys, it can go a lot higher. We could get a retest all the way up here at uh, 2350. That would be a nice retest right there. But uh, hidden bullish divergence and notice, I'm noticing a few trend lines here. I'm noticing a few trend lines. So what does that look like? <clears throat> well, not a perfect trend line, that's for sure. Can it go back from here? There we go. So what we'd be looking for is essentially, these are lower lows and for hidden bullish divergence, you wanna see lower lows in price and higher lows in RSI. And what do you know? It'd have to be coming all the way back from this guy right here. And you'd have a whole slew of these pot stickers right here. And yeah, so position is lining up here for a little bit more to the upside. Here we go. Backfill coming all the way to 2348 would be perfectly fine. In fact, all the way up to the 618, 2388. Or sorry, the not 0.5. A lot of times you get a bounce off the 618 back to the not 0.5. Although we did destroy this trend line here. And some might call this a falling pizza to the downside. Is that TP gonna get hit? Let's see. Should we add to it? If this does confirm as a higher low. So do I see any hidden bullish divergence? Price is making from this area, lower lows all the way across the board. So no there, but coming back from here, that might be too far away. You'd have a slew of higher lows in RSI, shot to the green 55 definitely in the cards there. So again, what am I talking about from this pivot and all these lows right here are lower lows. These are lower lows. One, two, three. How many would you call? One, two, three, four. Four drives gives you a shot to the 1618. And where is that? All the way up here. And that would do the most pain in the market. That would be the most pain for the people in the markets right now that are short. And why do we say that? Well, everybody's short right now, right? Everybody is short. They're putting their shorts on right now. So what I could do is take some of my profits. Let's move this up here. Sorry, moving it up, moving it up. Drag it up quickly. Sometimes they'll just run it right up to your, your thing right there. And so what I could do is take uh, some of my profits right now as my first TP is getting hitted, we're up 
or 1.2 ETH. Remember, this is an inverse perpetual contract. So I am gonna do that. And then I'll raise my stop loss up. No, nope, I'm not ready yet. Raising the stop loss up right here. Um, so now I'm in a profit. Guaranteed a profit on this one. Guaranteed a little bit of profit. Is that enough to test that 21? So I could take half my profit right now by doing a limit 25%. <clears throat> take 25% off. No, we didn't even hit the full move yet. So we did not hit the full move yet. And again, we were talking about the five closing above the nine. If we can close above the nine, that'll be our first warning sign that the next target is going to get hit. And we got two minutes left on this closure. Two minutes left. And potentially, you know, confirming that 15 minute hidden bullish divergence. And when I say our target is the 1618 fib, well, I developed something called the four drive philosophy. So you can go to bitcoinadvisors.com. You can get this for free. I just turned $140 into $1,300 over the last two weeks. Yes, it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency. My name is Chris Mitchell. I am the CEO of Crypt Courses. And I'm bringing you this video because I'm gonna give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, you've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto, but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto trader's dream to starting your crypto journey. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. Go here and you go to our resource center and then you're gonna scroll down to bullish and bearish divergence cheat sheet. And you can read all about it here and four drive philosophy. So <clears throat> two drives, Gets you a shot to the 21, three drives, gets you a shot to the green 55, and four, all the way to the 1618 fib. And we have one minute left on this closure. One minute left to confirm the fourth drive. Now, does this always work out? No, TA is more, more of an art, not an exact science. But if we wanted to be more scientific about it, typically what happens they're gonna inflict the most pain possible on, on, on people that are trading leveraged futures contracts and the market maker is gonna go for all the liquidity. The other thing I like to do on high block capital is check out the liquidation heat map, which uh, I guess for us people that like colors, it makes it a little shinier. So we shot right through that liquidity right there. The next level down, that's Bitcoin at 38,550. So more downside to come. If Bitcoin cannot get back above 40,600, 40,600 is the number to close. 40,600. Okay, so, so what am I gonna do? I'm gonna bring this back down a bit just in case we get a backfill and uh, actually take some off here. Take some off that nine right there and line it up with liquidity on Ethereum. Hope you guys are having some fun. Hope you guys are having as much fun as I am. Another thing we can do is use our 1618 So <clears throat> Ethereum did not get to that liquidity down there at 2290. So either the, the run got front run off the 618. Did we get front run? Meaning Everybody went short. They were all looking for this area to get hit. It did not get hit. So the market maker just sends it back to the upside. And that could very well likely be the be the case or something like this happens where we bounce it up just a little bit more and it rolls over again. And how would we know that this downside move is beginning to be over? Well, simply, uh, very similarly, the 921 cross to the upside and you get a higher low a W bottom formation, which is something like this, boom, higher low, and then you're gonna target all the way up there. So I am looking to close this position sooner than later. Yeah, yep. I am gonna bring this up here. 
and I can take 25% off right now. Oh, there it is, all the way up to the take profit. Let's keep going. What does the 30 minute say? Okay, if the 30 minute ticks above this candle right here, quick move back to the upside. So here's what I wanna do. I wanna do this. The first TP just get hit on that 50 minute time frame. So first TP, and so I am gonna limit out 25%, 25%. At 23.36, that was our original target, confirm, go. Oh. So there goes a few of my Ethereum profits, okay, that's fine. And now I move my take profit up a bit higher. I don't know where that trend line's coming in from, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Nice tweezer top, double bottom there. And we did tick above there, so good chance we're gonna run it up to that level right there at uh, 2348. <clears throat> and then again, the most pain will be inflicted as we come back to the, the green 55, which is slowly coming down on this 30 minute time frame on the hourly is right there. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up with that. I hope you had a fun. I hope you had a, enjoyed your day. Don't forget, Mexi link in the description below. And if you do want to learn how to trade based off of technical analysis, well, cryptcourses.com. That is our website where you can learn how to either trade like a pro or if you just want to get the beginner package for free, Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis, join the VIP Discord, get the trade signals, and I will see you in the next one. I hope you have a blessed and highly favored rest of your day. Take care. Take care. And where is my off button?